Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to change your uh, Toyota power steering fluid. Uh, specifically on this one will be the Toyota 4Runner. Uh, our Toyotas take Dex 2 and Dex 3. So this Max Life right here, I'll leave a link below. meets all the standards of, for Toyota vehicles and also BMWs and a lot of the German cars. So 3 ton jacks with 2 jack stands. Of course, you want to go to your owner's manual or easier, go to your power steering fluid cap and it'll say right here, automatic transmission fluid, Dextron type. So I know it's very odd, but these are what the Toyota vehicles need. So here's your return line. This is the line you want to take off. It's usually the smaller in diameter and the higher one up. I use a little siphon. I'll leave a link below. This is lovely for oil changes or any type of fluid. So here me sucking out my old dark brown um, power steering fluid so after you're done with that you want to get your jack and of course you want to safely jack up your vehicle so use two jack stands you want your front wheels to be able to turn freely so you don't wear them down or damage them so here's my jack that's the location and you want some tubing I believe it's seven thirty seconds just basically any tubing that will fit nice and tightly inside of the return valve and you want to lead it to a catch can your little bucket and some towels just in case and you want to loosen it you might need some needle nose pliers to loosen the clamp and here is it disconnected alright so now that you have it disconnected you want to cap off the nub right here so when you put in your transmission fluid um, it won't come out and here is your return line you want to make it nice and tight so nothing will drip so here's your DEX 2 or DEX 3 for your Toyota vehicle automatic transmission fluid so now you want to get in your car and turn your key position to on and not start so make sure your car is not starting up so just so you can turn the wheels left and right and just do this all the way left don't do it to lock and then all the way right don't do it to lock and this should uh, flush most of the new fluid through the power steering system and you want to keep adding power steering fluid in this case it's automatic transmission fluid until you see the new fluid come out into your catch can so once my fluid is nice and pink uh, I'll cap it off put connect the return line put in some new fluid and now you want to actually start the car so you don't start the car until you connect the return line and cap it off and now you can go left and right put everything through it and make sure you keep checking the fluid level make sure it's not down too low and you know you're done once the fluid in the container is not frothy or bubbly I mean you got all the air bubbles out thank you